Hello, bidet lovers. I have a bidet toilet seat and I, uh, look how dirty my counter is. <laughs> That's my pajamas. Uh, I recently bought a filter, a water filter for it. People are like, why do you need to filter water to spray on your bum? Uh, it's not for your butt. It's for the mechanism of the bidet. Uh, if you have hard water, which we really do here in Southern California, the deposits and mineral deposits and everything can really clog up the system and make it kind of not operate very well and it will shorten the life of your bidet seat. My model is an S1000EW. Looks like this, pretty cool. Uh, and um, so Brondell sells water filters on their site. They look like this. I did not buy a Brondell one, not because I'm anti Brondell, but um, they were sold out. So I found these same ones on Amazon. They have good reviews and it looks like they're from Korea. Woo um, anyway, so I'm gonna try to install it now. This is the first one. So I'm not replacing it, I'm adding it. And I think it's pretty straightforward. So let's see if I can do it. I put a towel on the floor. You have to, before you do anything, uh, you want to turn off your water source. So remember your rule, lefty loosey, righty tidy. So turn it all the way right until it won't go anymore. And that's going to turn off your water. And then right here you have a T-valve. I'm talking about this like I know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just showing you that it's actually quite easy, I hope. Uh, so I put a towel on the floor. And then I also just got a plastic uh, Tupperware container. It's actually my salad spinner underneath in case a bunch of water comes out, but I did flush the line, meaning I just flushed the toilet once and closed it and flushed it. So this is where you're gonna connect it, is here on this T-valve. So I'm gonna take my handy dandy Husky wrench, loosen this up. I installed this by myself too. It really was not very difficult. So you're gonna take this off. Good job, not a lot of water came out. Just a little bit. And there is a male, female part, and there's a little plastic plug on here. So I'm gonna take this off. Since it's just spraying on your butt, there's no need to flush it. Um, so this part, you're just gonna screw right onto here. Try to do it tight, but not too tight, I guess. And then this end, you just screw it in here. It said for best results to try to put it near the toilet, which is, <laughs> I don't know where else it would go, but I'm doing what I saw on some other, on the Brondo website instructions. This tube is a little stiff, so it's a little stubborn. But I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little tightening. Get this sucker. Hopefully not break anything. That seems pretty tight, I think. This is tight. That's tight. We need to turn our water back on. Oh, I hear the water came back on. Cool. Let's flush the toilet, see what happens. There's water and everything. Um, I cannot demonstrate the bidet for you. I mean, I could, but probably get kicked off at YouTube. But it was that easy. You guys, I'm not a handy person. I own like five tools, uh, but that was pretty easy. So that's how you replace the water filter on your electric bidet. Good luck. Happy butt rinsing. Have a great day. Ruby says, see ya. Oh, there's Gizmo. You can check out the tools.